I wanted to share with you a special portion of scripture that means a great deal to the church today, and it comes from the book of 2 Timothy. Now, what's fascinating about the book of 2 Timothy is some people call it the death letter, meaning that Paul, in his realization that he was coming close to the end of his existence, wrote this letter to Timothy to instruct Timothy what to do in his absence. And many times we need to take special care in realizing what it is that the Lord has given us as of great worth so that we can live our lives in the same way that Timothy was instructed to live his. So in the second Timothy chapter four, I just want to read you what the word says. I charge you in the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who is to judge the living and the dead, and by his appearing and his kingdom, preach the word. Be ready in season and out of season. Reprove, rebuke, and exhort with complete patience and teaching. For the time is coming when people will not endure sound teaching, but having itching ears, they will accumulate for themselves teachers to suit their own passions, and will turn away from listening to the truth and wander off into myths. As for you, always be sober-minded, endure suffering, and do the work of an evangelist to fulfill your ministry. We live in a time and in a generation that is filled with all of the how-tos and the instructional guides that you would think would be required to get whatever you want. In the age of the internet and Google and the ability to walk down to your local bookstore or pull up on your Kindle, anything that you want to learn, we do have an abundance of teaching today. The truth is there is a dissatisfaction within the hearts of people today. There is a void within them that can only be filled with something that is eternal, something that is beyond uh, limitations. And that, you and I know, is to be our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is every bit God, but can relate to us because while being every bit God, He clothed Himself as a man to take the uh, responsibility of our sins on the cross and to die for us so that we could become in unity with this perfect being that we fell out of unity by listening and obeying our sinful earthly natures. That being said, today, where are the areas that you can be a light? Paul challenged Timothy. He said, do the work of an evangelist. Use the word. Understand the word. Today we have so many opportunities to learn and find what the Word says, but are we applying them? Can we go up to someone and defend the faith of our precious Lord and Savior Jesus Christ based off of Scripture that we know and have hidden in our heart? I want to encourage you today to set aside time this very week to allow the Word of God to permeate your heart. Read it. Search in it. Find the areas that define what it is that you believe so that you can use the Scripture to defend what it is that you are called to be a part of, and that is the family of God. Don't be discouraged by all the significant teachers and thinking that there's nothing that you can offer. The truth is the greatest tool that the Lord has given you to share your faith and to share what this word says is your testimony. The book of Revelation says that in the end we overcome by the blood of the Lamb which has been poured out for you and me to eliminate our sins before God, but also one very other crucial point is not only by the blood of the Lamb, but the word of their testimony. Your testimony carries great power today. Why not let your story be defined by understanding what God's story is so that you can share it with other people?